and he demands a lot. But he also is very encouraging, very nurturing. Um, he allows you to feel confident in your instincts, and that's in all departments, having watched him now in three films. And just really, he's a fantastic leader and inspires uh, each department in a way that's, um, well, that comes across, I think, on, on screen. It's also very eloquently written, um, so it's not just sort of, you know, laying out the facts of the time period and, and what slavery was all about. It's also beautifully told. So um, when I got the script, which I got before the book, I just uh, was very moved by it. By the end of the script, I was pretty tearful. And I called up uh, Steve and I said to him, you know, I wanted to be part of it. Um, if it meant like one day's work or two days work, I just wanted to be a part of this story. I was down in New Orleans about five weeks before we started filming. Um, and the first thing, I had to find the voice of the character, so I worked on a lot of different... Um, uh, um, Tim Monick is a dialogue coach I worked with, so he sent me lots of recordings of different Louisiana men accents. And then just working with the script closely every day, uh, a lot of repetition. I found it helped because again, it just raises the stakes, and you you know you it, it really drives home the responsibility that we we were undertaking by telling this story, and um, yeah, because you feel the you know the ghosts around you there, um, very much so. It shows the complexity of slavery and exactly sort of all the different sort of facets of slavery, which perhaps hasn't been investigated before. So it's not just a black and white scenario. It's, uh, it shows the economy of slavery. We see Solomon go from uh, a logging farm to a cotton farm to sugar cane. So we see how intrinsic it was in the economy of the South at the time. Um, we see how it affects the oppressors as well as the oppressed in characters like Epps and characters like uh, Ford. And um, yeah, and we see the complexity of the relationships, you know, 65% I think of black American males um, have got white blood in them. So that just shows you how sort of endemic rape was, you know, on, on, the, on the plantation. And so, uh, you know, we're all part of each other and so, um, I think that's that's really kind of another area that Steve really manages to 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 reveal, which maybe hasn't been shown before. It's just been the master and the slave. This is so much more complex.